Righto, we're ready to go. River drift. Lazy me, didn't have a leader ready to go. A few beers last night. Just whipped a bit of 40 pound on. Loop knot. Start with a tiny clash again today. Blake's just dropped the ute off. He's walking back now. River looks good. Ready to rock and roll? Ready to rock and roll. Finding keys in your bag, I reckon. I think we're good, bro. Yeah. I can see a bit of debris there, but. I've just got to get used to using this with the remote. I've never used an electric with the remote, right. eh? Yeah. You reckon the foot pedal, would you, the foot pedal no good? Oh, I just didn't bring it. I just thought it'd be easier. The foot pedal in here might be a bit hard, I thought, but. Yeah. Might be doable, actually. Yeah, no, nah, they're bastards. I've been done before. Yeah, that's fine, mate. Um, oh, yeah, we might need one each, I think. You go. Right. Yeah, and I'll go this side. <laughs> right, oh, we're doing it. We get in the I reckon try and stick to the left side. Yeah, try and stick to the left. All right, oh. Worst thing happens, you get a few fucking trees. <sighs> Right, we just got to beat this tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a rock. Oh shit. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> we're in trouble. Oh. All right. Grab the tree. Yeah, grab the tree. <laughs> oh, the rod. <laughs> Just watch those rods. Get down, get down. The rods all good. Yeah, at the moment we got to beat this one, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rods. Hold. Okay, we're stopped here for a bit. Right. Back out? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're on the river, Blake and I, in a spot that we've never fished before. I've got my brand new boat, uh, Quintrex 3.6 metre Wanderer. I bought this a couple of months ago uh, for doing this type of stuff, flying down the rivers. I've just pulled the electric off my main boat and put it on there, put it on here for today. Uh, but in the down the track, we'll look at uh, getting a separate electric for this boat. Also got a five horsepower uh, Yamaha that came with it, but I didn't put that on for today because uh, I knew we'd be going through some rapids and, and the flow of the river would push us most away. The plan today is to cover 20 k's, we're going to do ute to ute, so I've got 20 k's from the start spot to get to ute at the other end, uh, we've got all day to do it, so it uh, might be a bit touch and go, but hopefully if we, we make some time up through that middle part of the day, um, just on the electric, we should be able to do it uh, pretty fine, we've got a full battery, um, so touch wood that doesn't, doesn't die on us. Anyway, let's get stuck into the fishing, it should be a good day. We've got one, finally. Little Murray on the uh, weedless plastic. Almost 11, we've been going for a few hours battling the rapids. <laughs> we finally got one. Third set of rapids. Yeah. Third set of rapids, pretty much third or fourth BO. We're getting used to it now, getting through the rapids, I think. We nearly flipped it the first one. <laughs> <laughs> we did, eh? <laughs> There we go, first little fella in the new tinny. Hopefully, a lot more. 
and a lot bigger to come. Get this lure out. How's this? We'll just come across. You hear the bell set line one, and you can make up the blue there. Set line two. Pretty crazy this stuff still goes on, but it does. I'm gonna leave them here. We're gonna leave them here in case fisheries have got surveillance on it. But it's not good enough, really, is it? Bogans. There he is, probably. What do you reckon, Jacko? He's probably legal. Yeah, he's over 60. Over 60. I reckon. Just just got him drifting down that bit of undercut, undercut bank there. Cool. Let him go, eh? Send him off, bro. <laughs> just turn the GoPro off. And he comes up. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to really open those grips. Yeah, they're fucking, they clamp down good. And a little fella just missed like three hits. Bang, bang, bang through this section. The GoPro is buddy, I think it's overheating, so it's not really working for us. I've only got one battery left, so I haven't been, haven't been able to catch one on GoPro yet, but hopefully they keep coming. That's our third there. First night fever. They're cold enough. Yeah, that'll do. Thanks, mate. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Bro, good one. Jeez, look at the boil. Holy hell, Jacko. Jeez, that hit that hard, eh? Right, eh? She's lunchtime. We've just stopped off. Had a quick dip. It's actually pretty hot. The water's, um, the water's actually nice and cool, but... So it's nice and refreshing. We've got a couple of fish so far. Um, we're hoping um, as the day heats up and the water warms, um, it might get better um, after lunch and, and through to this afternoon. But it's good to get a few fish uh, first time out in the tinny. Um, if we don't do any good after this, it doesn't matter. We've already broke her in. So I've had a beer, just had a good feed, a few uh, corned beef sandwiches, and now we're going to carry on. Still got about oh, 13 k's to go. So we're actually... Yeah, we're running, we're running behind, so we probably might have to, yeah, we might have to really punch it the last bit, but we'll see how we go. Here we go, another nice one. Probably 65-ish, that one. He's, he's up there. Yeah, getting up there. Getting on that weedless bait junkie. Starting to come on now, a bit of a lunchtime, lunchtime bite, so. Really healthy fish, that. I'll get this out. How good's the weather? Straight out. Yeah, that's good. You crack it up for us. That's why you wear the cord. How'd you it? Gone! Beautiful. Hitting the rapids with the oars. Found this is the best way to do it. Thank you. Yeah, probably the smartest play. We would get you get sent straight into. Yeah. Easy. Decent? Nah, he's another little one. Not bad, but another 60. No, he might be the biggest of the day, actually. Really? Oh, nah. Same as the last one. 
Not too bad. Shit, yeah. On film? Uh, yes, we've got one on the GoPro oh. finally. <laughs> Hang on. Bang on. Nice. Yeah, I reckon you bang on 68, 69 ish. 69? I reckon yeah. 69. Skinny on this one. There, there we go. Is. 69. Just gave him a measure to see what we're dealing with. He's a skinny fish, but he's long. Get on that bait junkie. Corner of the jaw. Doing work. Good hookups. Right, oh, we're starting to get into a few now. Plenty of hits. Uh, the weedless plastics seem to be doing the trick. Um, yeah, getting a few nice fish as well, a few solid sizes. Hopefully, we can crack something in the 70s or 80s soon. Keep going. What are you going to, mate? I'm going. Give us the rundown. Mate. You got it? Where is yeah, it? I got it? Oh, yeah. Big bait in there, why not, eh? That's a heavy spinner bait. What is that? Probably. Savage gear. <laughs> yeah. Why not, eh? <laughs> so we're going to about every second lure I can find today, is it? <laughs> it's going to happen, I reckon. Yeah. The old savage gear. 80 plus, is that what we're after? 80 plus is the goal, mate. Yeah. Then we can have our last beer. That's it. Over two hours drive. We can go there. Hey. Whose was it again? My Nan's brother or some shit. Yeah, right. He's an older bloke. He's like 80 something. And yeah, he put him in there 20 plus years ago. And it's like, like you said, clear and deep. Should go for a flick out there. Yeah. I'm... Oh, bro, 80, 80, 80. Oh, shit. Where to go, where to go, where to go. <laughs> bro. bro, he's only just hooked. Yep, I'm coming. Oh, Buzz. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Fucking oath. Oh. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> At the boat. Where are we going? Somewhere, and then that dog. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. It's a good fish. He's long as well, man. He's long, not as fat, but... Man, he's, I reckon he'll be like 85, eh? Yeah. Yeah, gloves are easier than the grips on a fish like this size. Yep. Purple spinnerbait does it. I knew the Savage Gear would do it. Yeah. We just spoke about How's it. How's that feeling? Right, eh? What was he, 82 and a half? Just went past, what, 200 metres of rapids into this good pool. Second fish out of this pool, and he's, he's over 80, so we're having a beer. Get him back. Hey? The tinny's getting some mojo. It is. Cheers. It's more than fucking... Haven't caught fish for a while. Here we go, change it up. Blake's been getting a bit of interest on the spinnerbait, so I'm gonna put the white one on. Five eighths of an ounce spin right. Spin right spinnerbait, see how it goes. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Missed him straight away. That was a yellow belly for sure, eh? Really? Yeah. Just it was a little bit. Definitely a yellow. Fucking. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, he's not... He's not that big? No. He's a 60. God, I thought that was... Yeah, I thought that was alright, eh? I'm just gonna spot walk us. Cheers, Good work. He's a, he's a fat one, but... He is. Jeez, he boiled. When he boiled, eh? I was like, oh, oh that's a good one. I got excited, eh? He loaded up proper. There he is. Nice. Won't measure him, but he'd be over 60. Yeah, that's as close to 70. Yeah. Another Very solid nice one. On that, um, on a log up there somewhere, we've drifted a bit, but yeah, spinnerbaits are getting them. Plastics and spinnerbaits. Unhooked himself, ready to, ready to release. All good? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Here you go, bud. <laughs> there you go. 
That's right, he landed on my knee, like, and slid down my legs, that'd be fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, yeah. I, mean, I need a bloody new knee up, right? <laughs> MCL. Oh, ho, ho. that's like a surface cod. Right? <laughs> he took the bib. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Playing up. Blake's got another nice fish on the way to us again. That one's on the cast plastic. There it is. That fish is 70. Oh. Didn't measure him, but he's in the 70s on the weightless plastic. Been getting him, right? Eh? Let him go. He'll probably play up here. <laughs> Gone! Oh yeah, good fish. Good one. Oh no! Oh, that was a good one, eh? Maybe you reckon? And it pulled string straight away. Yeah. And now it's back on the back. I don't care. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what happened there, eh? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Right there. Last one, that was 60. Right at the rod tip. Sick eight. Where did I go, man? I don't know where you go. Oh, boil. Yep. Nice, bro. <laughs> yeah, mate. I think he's very big. He's only a little fella, I think. Where? Surface fish. <laughs> Sick. There we go. Got one off the roof on the Joker. It's good. I haven't caught a fish for a while. It's probably another. 70-ish almost fish. They're all that same size at the moment. Like good fish, good size fish, long and fit, not fat. Fit, not fat. That's it. The opposite to me. <laughs> anyway, I'll get this out. We are running out of light and we've still got a fair way to go, so we'll get this fish back and really? get it. What? They got so much kick in them <laughs> to what we're used to. Right, right oh, we're now just sending it. We've got about four Ks to do in about 30 minutes of light, so no more top water, I don't think, unless we see a good snag. I, we'll be getting back in the dark no matter what, but I don't want to do any hectic rabbits in the dark. All right, I'm about to hit this. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, back in the shed now. It's the day after um, yesterday's big session. Uh, had to turn the cameras off. We didn't end up getting back uh, to the ute till about 8.30 at night, so we had uh, no head torch, just the phone lights, and um, had to hit a few rapids in the dark and um yeah probably the last three or four k's was just sort of sending it um on the electric uh in the dark uh till we got to the car so we left our run a little bit late wasn't uh wasn't nice having to do it um happened to do that in the rapids and stuff but we got there in the end it was a good day's fishing um we put in at 8 30 pulled out at 8 30. um we landed 10 10 cod for the trip uh, but we did, you know, standard stuff. We did miss a lot, but you get used to that. I just do, I thought I'd do a quick rundown. Um, I always get asked um, in the comments and stuff what rod and reel and gear we're using, so I just thought I'd quickly give you a bit of a look. Um, I got most of my fish on the, the 6.2 inch um, bait junkie, dial bait junkie, um, minnow plastic in that sort of white with the purple top color. I like. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I like any sort of white colour. Um, just That's just on a half ounce uh, Tenno beast hook, I own a beast hook. Uh, I find that to be the perfect size. There's plenty of distance between um, the eye, the hook and, and the treble. So I find 
the distance, the, the bigger the distance or the bigger the, the bigger the gape of the hook, um, the better the hook up. So that was very good. Uh, missed a few fish on the Tiny Clash, DRT Tiny Clash. Um, have been getting a lot of people ask me about these. If you want to try and get your hands on some, uh, bait religion are bringing them into the country now. So um, jump onto bait religion's Instagram page or there's also a DRT Australia Instagram page where you can keep up to date when, when orders are coming in. So I think there is a big order coming um, soon with a heap more of the tiny clashes and the jokers. Um, but they do sell out quick, so you've got to be on it. So yeah, jump over on there on those Instagram pages and you'll be able to keep up to date with what's going on. Um, and then I got one fish. Wasn't planning on fishing surface, but um, yeah, it took, to, it took longer than we expected to do the do the 20 k's so I did fish surface a bit got one fish on the joker there now the rod that I'm using is a Daiwa Tatula um, I've been using this rod for about three or four months now it's been really good it's actually um, yeah it's me it's my favorite stick for the rivers these days it's uh, so it's a 23 Tatula so the 2023 model which is the latest model of Tatulas six foot nine extra heavy so it's 691 XHFB I'll put a link in the description below um, so you can go to the door website and have a look at it. But I've um, got that split grip. Uh, it's just really nice for casting. It's six foot nine, so it's a bit shorter. So if you're fishing the river, it's, it's really nice. And it's a swim bait rod, so I can cast up to 220 grams. It's recommended. I probably wouldn't go that high, but cast anything up to like a sort of K9, which is that sort of four or five ounce class, really nice. Um, and then at the same time, I can cast a lot. Like I was throwing. Um, I was throwing like the spin right spinner baits. That's only a half ounce spinner bait with a decent sized plastic on it and it still casts all that white stuff really well. So, uh, for a river stick, um, yeah, I found this one to be really good. Uh, I think it was more designed with the sort of live scope um, guys in mind, you know, that bit shorter rod when you're on the boats, um, just pitching casts out here and there at fish on the screen. Um, but it's not what I use it for. I found it. it a, the perfect application for it to be um, either in the boat like I was uh, fishing the river yesterday or just walking the rivers along the banks and you can pretty much cast any lure on this stick which it has been really good. I've just got that matched up with a Daiwa Tatula 200 HD reel, gear ratio 6.3 just your standard and then I've got 40 pound J braid expedition braid and a 40 pound J thread leader so yeah, pretty easy stuff. I normally go a bit heavy on the leader, but I've been going just a 40 pound lately, just with the 40 and 40 ties a good knot. And yeah, haven't found anything to be too strong to break it yet. Anyway guys, um, hopefully be getting back out soon on the uh, on the new tinny. Really, really enjoyed uh, that drift yesterday. It's good fun. So coming into this prime autumn period, I'm looking forward to getting back down the river and doing, a, doing some more of that type of stuff. Anyway, I uh, appreciate everyone watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.